YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Kuzi, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. We are continuing the weekly challenge series, and this week, the challenge is Technophilia. Uh, we've thrown out all of those prehistoric items. This contract is all about technology, so you have to correctly identify the ghost typed three times on Bleasdale Farmhouse. This is my favorite farmhouse, bro. So, uh, before we get into it, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. If you want to find your way back for more content like this and other spooky stuff, you can hit the subscribe button with notifications on. Also, I'm recording this live on my stream right Right now, if you want to come check me out, it'd be awesome to have you stop by sometime. The link for that is down below. So, enough pitter patter, chitter chatter. Let's get into it, baby. Alrighty, so we're on Bleasdale. No, yeah, Bleasdale Farmhouse. Um, I'm not going to worry about the objectives as per usual. Um, so, it looks my suspicions were correct. We got the best of the best, baby. But the problem is, we have sanity pills, uh, but no smudges, no firelights, and no. Um, no crucifixes. I, I think they kind of screwed us over on that one. But anyways, nonetheless, we're going to treat this like a regular contract. We got the tier three EMF, which is nice. But what isn't nice is we have the stinky tier three thermo, dude. I hope you guys are doing well today or tonight, whatever time it is you're watching this. Do we have the breaker on? No, we don't. But fortunately, on this attempt, the breaker is underneath the stairs. Do we have any cursed possessions? Probably not. If they're doing away with the... Oh, we got tarot cards. Oh, you know we gotta pull the tarot cards, baby. Watch it be Hangman, first try. Okay. Okay. I see. Is is, is the ghost hunting or something? Jesus, dude. <gasps> Very good. So if I die right now, it'll be fine. Airball, okay, not an Oni. Easy peasy. By the way, a quick tip with the uh, with the tarot cards. If you want to forego a, a, a death card, aka a cursed hunt, you can uh, trigger the the pull right before, right at the door, and then step outside. So bada bing, there's going to be a death card here in a second because it's bound to happen. Okay, that's fine. There you go. All right, so let's look for the ghost room. So we, we have a second chance at life here. Interesting. 7.8. Did we find the ghost room? Let's just see. I mean, that's pretty damn cold. I, th I think we're onto something here, dude. And again, maybe not. I don't know. Let's just see if that's the ghost room. And we're going to go get our other equipment. Okay, well, uh, I was literally just telling my chat how I'm going to um, cut this part out because nobody wants to watch someone walking around a contract for ages trying to find the ghost room. But uh, we just found it. And we have freezing temperatures, by the way. We're going to assume we... We're going to always assume that we get freezing. So, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? You turn on the fan? It's my biggest fan. Where are you? How old are you? Do you speak? Are you friendly? Do you not have spirit box? Okay. I'm gonna say no on that. All right, so that immediately rules out um, a bunch of ghosts here. It's throwing a lot of stuff, but it's not like crazy crazy. So let's grab our other stuff and then we'll run back out to the truck, grab, uh, I'll probably drop my flashlight at the front door and get uh, dots, ghost writing, Wait, do we have ghost writing? We have to, right? Okay, so that's a plot twist. Uh, even if it is ghost writing, we can't have it because we don't have ghost writing. We don't even have salt, bro. How are we gonna check for a wraith? All right, so, so far it's not giving us a spirit box. We are on a farmhouse, so we can, let's check for orbs first. Hello, ghost. Can you give me a sign? Okay, thank you. Turn on the fan. It's gonna be incredibly hard to check for Wraith, because we don't have salt. Can't be Gorio. I'm not seeing orbs. I'm gonna assume that we get all three evidences, so I'm gonna roll out Mimic. Can you give me a sign? Maybe knock on the window or something? Um, okay, so all we have to go off of is quite literally freezing. And that's it. Can't get ghost riding. Let's see, we need EMF 5 as well. Hello, ghost. Can you give me a sign? 
Can you give me a sign? It's, okay, uh, no spirit box. It's gotta be a shade, bro. It's gotta be a shade. Because we can't get ghost riding. It hasn't an EMF 5, though. Which is kind of odd. Hello? But genuinely, we don't have any sort of activity. A demon probably would have hunted us by now. Low key. Which kind of sucks, because I kind of want it to haunt us. Since we have the High Priestess card, but... Can you give me a sign? Okay. It's through this. Can you give me a sign? Can you give me another sign? Oh, I heard that. Is it UV? Was it this? Ah, okay, so it's either a gen or a demon. I'm leaning more towards gen. Simply because I feel like a demon would have uh, turned off the breaker by now. Okay, turn on the light. That's cool. It's making me think. Okay, so we need ghost writing for uh, demon and EMF 5 for gen. Are we going to get that, though? That's the question. That's EMF 2. Hello, ghost. Okay, that's EMF 4. Hello, ghost. Are you mad? Are you mad at me? See, it would have done EMF 5, I feel like, by now. Hello, ghost. It's getting mad. Let's run out to the truck and see what sanity we are. I feel like this is a gin. See, that right there tells me it's more than likely a gin. So, we'll go with that. I could have done some of the objectives here, but I can't do that, and I can't do that, so it's pointless. It was a demon. Okay, well, that's just unfortunate. All right, do we go MVGs? I think we do. That way it opens up uh, more opportunity for us to carry stuff in. All right. We technically don't need the lights on. Let's see. Is it tarot cards every time? Oh, oh hell yeah. Hangman? It's tower? The Wheel of Fortune? I couldn't see what color that was. Well, we found the ghost room. Interesting. Corgi. Oh, you're in here. Okay, potential teleporting ghost we're dealing with. Okay, right now, it's 10.2, 8.5, so it's dropping. Slowly but surely. Okay, we're gonna just leave that there. Can you give me a sign? Thank you. The devil. Airball. Okay, no, Oni, that was a legit airball. The other airball you just heard was uh, Twitch channel point redemption that I have in my chat. Okay, I'm at zero sanity. Ghost is gonna hunt. I don't know what color that was. Okay. We're up 25. Okay, we have UV. We don't have freezing though, right? Turn on the light, not... Wait, you turned on the breaker? Okay, so it's not a Hantu. EMF 5. Now are we dealing with the gin? Alright, let's go get our other stuff here. We have two out of the three evidences needed for a Gorio. So, we could check for Gorio dots. How you do that is you set up your dots and then you grab your video cam and stand like just outside of the ghost room. We have orbs. Okay, it's an Obake. Very nice. Yep. I don't have any smudges. So I'm kind of screwed. This is a normal hunt, by the way. It's not a cursed hunt. Gus is upstairs. Yeah, you could set the camera on a tripod. The problem is... What's up, Buttercups? Um, the problem is, is the... Um, okay, hunt's over. We're getting out of here, bro. It's in Obake. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Because I think there were a couple ghosts left. Like, well, no, because we had two out of the three things. But just to save time, it's easier just to hold it. But there we go. One out of three done. Let's go, baby. All right.
Let's yeah. let's run MVGs. Maybe that's our, our good luck charm here. Okay, so it's tarot cards every single time. So we gotta pull. <gasps> nice. Okay. Well, uh are we in the ghost room? We have freezing breath. I mean the breaker's off though, so there's a chance. I mean it's at six and it's dropping. Yeah, this has gotta be well, maybe not. See, it's showing you like a range. That's wild. Where are you? The fuck? It's like throwing stuff in there? Let's find out. It's snowing, so that means with the breaker off, it'll be easier to find the freezing temperature evidence. What the hell? It's like back here. <gasps> okay. Twins? Potential twins? Can you give me a sign? Alright, well, I think we found the ghost room. Oh, yeah, we're here, baby. Look at that. 1.4 needs to be 0 0.9, I think. For it to be freezing. It's kind of jumping all around here. It, say, it, it takes so long to use the tier 3 thermo, bro. Oh, we'll check for fingerprints while we're here. And we have fingerprints. Is it another Gorio or another Obake? That's that's a normal handprint. So potentially not an Obake. All right, so we really just need, yeah, we really just need our our video camera and uh, dots. I'm gonna grab both, which is a little absurd for the uh, on the hub, uh, which is a little absurd for a little bathroom, but it's fine. The more dots, the merrier. I always say. Watch it just be freezing. I mean, not worry about this at all. Okay. Put that here. Put that here. Any Orbingtons? Could it be dots? Let's check. Let's check freezing again. 2.2. 1.7. This is where the tripod might come in handy because we can't we can't see from inside so we could set the tripod up and since the gorio is the only one that can give us dots and if it's ghost riding it's miling but so if we if we don't see any dots and we don't get um we definitely don't have any ghost orbs so it's not an obake so this is where the tripod comes in handy all right let me see you should be able to rotate this that's not how I, I never know how to rotate this, by the way. Click freezing. 1.7. I mean, it's like right there at freezing, but it's not actually freezing. The only thing is, is the ghost riding. That's our problem. Oh, you can rotate it like this. Look at this. All right, are we going to have dots? I'm not seeing anything. I'm going to keep it a buck with you, chat. I don't think it's a Gorio, but then again, it hasn't changed ghost rooms either. Yeah, see, like it's doing stuff. I'm, I'm gonna say it's miling. It hasn't changed ghost rooms though, dude. Okay, chat. What do we say? Do we do, do we go, do we do Gorio because the Gorio dots are pretty rare? Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in you bitch about it, you get it. We were complaining that we weren't gonna get the, uh, the Gorio dots, and the game hurt us. All right, might as well use the night vision while we got it. it seems to be the, uh, the trick here. Okay, breaker's not down here. This door's starting open. That's a bit awkward. I think it was in here. No. Maybe the bathroom. Yeah, it was the bathroom. Hello, ghost. How are you? 10.8. 9.3. 10. Wait. Are you right here, you stinky? I thought I heard it. Hit a window, but I wasn't sure. Can you give me a sign? Wait, are you in here now? You hit this window, right? Or was it this one? I don't know. Is this the ghost room? 4.5. This might be the ghost room. I don't know. Hold on. Let's let's see if it's over here. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely in this room. All right, you're in here, yeah? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? All right, I'm going to say that this is the ghost room. Almost like twins. 
A little too close for comfort. See, now it's touching shit out here and throwing stuff out here. Interesting. Definitely don't think it's like a shade or something. It touched the door. Ah, uh, fuck it. Alright, so quick rundown of the tips I would give for this challenge. Usually, use the curse possession as per usual. Your MVGs are very good, uh, because it allows you to keep the breaker off, so that you can find freezing temperature evidence faster. Uh, and we've only had that with one attempt, and I think we had the breaker on there, but... Uh, because you're using the tier 3 thermo, it's, it's very bad. So, you want to try to maximize being able to find that as quick as possible because it's so tedious using the tier 3. So, I don't know, it's like interacting with stuff out here too. We can confirm with the video cam. If this is the ghost room or not. If the ghost has orbs. Let's check in here real quick. It's already hunting? No, it just did a... event. Alright, so, I'm not seeing any orbs. So we can go ahead and cross that out. Check spirit box. Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Okay. We have spirit box, which is good. Can you give me a sign? You can check freezing. Four. 5.7. I don't think it's freezing. But see, it's like touching stuff in there. It's doing a lot of throwing, though. I will say. Uh, I don't know, Twins is kind of... So for Twins, we need EMF 5. And... Freezing. Which we're getting there. Staying at 2.2. Oh! Oh, there's a Freezing. <laughs> 0 0.8 is, is technically Freezing with the Tier 3. Now, it could be an Rio, but I think we need EMF 5 for the Twins. But, is it dots for anything? No. Not seeing any orbs. So that leaves Ghost Riding for the Morroy, which we don't know. But, I mean, the fact that it did stuff in here, or it, it was doing stuff in here, then in here, and then in here, I don't think the radius of a normal ghost reaches all the way to here. Unless it changed ghost rooms to be in here. Okay, well, there's our answer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. We got it, baby. Now they say that, like, you see how this, like, goes here and then immediately spikes up? They say that this is a twin interaction because it's basically happening so fast that you see how within a half a second it changes to something else? They say that that's the twin interaction or whatever, but I don't rely on the board to determine what type of ghost it is for me just because it's been so inconsistent and because most goes can make the board look like that so that's why i don't really rely on that but nonetheless we got it baby we got it nice little 5250 xp and money meaning we can upgrade some stuff and we're also level 84 now prestige too so we're working our way to the next prestige so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this uh playthrough was helpful for you um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. The good thing about me being a small creator is that I read every single comment and I reply to almost every single one of them, unless they're weird. Um, but nonetheless, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay.